I'm, I'm comfort zone. Let's get it. Is that it's been on my mind. I've been sleeping now. I'm up. I can't wait to chase my dreams. I had to wake up and hit the grind. Oh yeah. I can't waste my time. No. I can't waste my time. No. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Uncomfort Zone. My name is Tristan. My name is Josh. And we got our boy John here from Project Superhero Fit, personal trainer based here in Orlando, Florida. Today we're gonna be learning a little bit about the healthy lifestyle and we're gonna do an exercise. Let's get it. Let's get it. Well, fellas, I appreciate y'all having me. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing to be here. I appreciate the opportunity. And, um, you know, I'm here to talk about greatness. John, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what got you into personal training. Oh, well, basically, I mean, um, I've been an athlete all my life. Um, I hail from a little small town in Maryland, uh, Salisbury, Maryland on the uh, southeastern side near the coast and uh, was a basketball player, um, you know, played in college, uh, played a little bit professional. So I've always been an athlete um, all my life, man. So I've always had the passion, you know, to, to be active. Well, I got a question. You know, when people first get in the gym, it's kind of intimidating, especially if you're overweight or uh, you're not where you want to be. So how do you get people to get over that fear and get into training? Well, the main thing is, is that, you know, you have to get people to understand that, um, you know, it's their journey. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's journey is different. You know what I'm saying? When I first start with a with a client or something like that, you know, I, I don't, I, I'm not necessarily asking them to look like me or to be the perfect physique right away. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about just getting everyone to understand that, you know, this is your journey, not someone else's journey. And you got to take it how you, how you, you know, how you want to, your pace. And your um, your progress, you know, is different from everyone else's. So that's a great way of motivating people. And usually, you know, just getting people to understand that aspect of it and being patient. And that's where you know it creates the whole mental toughness and things like that too. So, so being that you are a personal trainer, uh, diet is very important. So, what is your your take on the perspective on uh, your diet? Well, the thing is, um, you know, you can work out as much as you want, but if you don't, you know, align your diet with, um, you know, your activity and things like that and being disciplined, um, you're not going to see change. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of influencers, a lot of trainers, a lot of um, health enthusiasts say it's 80-20, 80% um, diet and 20% the physical aspect, but I tell people it's 90-10. Um, you know, if you want abs and you want the, you know, you want to lose inches, you want to uh, you know, uh, get into that new dress size, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, gotta align that diet and it, you have to be disciplined with it, you know, and I tell a lot of people, don't have a cheat day until you see results. So, when one of your clients, like, hits a plateau, like, what do you do to get them past it, like, and also what do you do to motivate them to want to get past that, without like, them getting discouraged, basically? Well, the thing is, at the, at the beginning stages, you know, that's when you start the process of the motivation. You know, taking them through the workouts, um, showing them how they're progressing through certain workouts. You know, that that jumping from that, you know, beginner stage to intermediate to advanced and things like that, you know, they usually see that progress. You know, and you know, the thing is, is if it's quality workouts and quality results, that does the motivation for itself. You know, so, you know, when they hit that wall, because, you know, everybody usually hits that wall of where they're either, you know, they're, they're, they're not seeing the results they or it's not they're not it's not progressing fast enough or you know the 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 mental toughness where you know you're getting tired of working out a lot of people usually hit that wall but like i said it's it's it's, it's building as you're training you're building a relationship with your client and you know putting putting yourself in that your your client's shoes and letting you going through workouts with your client you know um, um showing them that you know this is what we do or you know i'll work out with you to push you you know through it to get in the trenches with them you know what i'm saying so usually doing things like that builds that relationship and that rapport to where you know they want to continue the program and they want to see results and they, they they you know they believe in themselves all right so being that you do work out every day what is your favorite and least favorite exercise um i've never been a runner uh so i would say running is uh you know my least favorite exercise and i would say my favorite is um hit 
um, high intensity interval training, um, you know, where you bounce around from exercise to exercise for a certain amount of reps or a certain amount of um, seconds or time, a time frame. And um, that just gives you, um, you know, just a different variety of things. Your muscles don't know how to react and you know you're 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 getting through these weird movements and things like at a fast pace so um that's probably my favorite so when you have a new client um you bring them to an environment where there's a group setting or whatever um what do you do to make them feel comfortable in that new environment well basically um at the beginning of any type of group uh exercise or anything like that first of all i tell everybody listen you know this is a judgment free zone um you know we have you know different uh, fitness levels, we have different, uh, you know, people who have experience as athletes and things like that, but if you're going to be negative, then, you know, just go home and don't come back, and I mean that with all my heart, you know what I'm saying, because this is an hour of just positivity and greatness, and people of different diverse, you know, fitness levels, backgrounds, whatever, just coming together, um, you know, to get better at a, at a, at a, as, a as a group, you know, po all positivity, it's all hour of just positivity. Through your journey, where are you at now, and what, do you, what is your ultimate goal? Um, I would say I'm just starting. Um, you know, uh, Project Superhero is, it, you know, we haven't been around that long. Um, you know, but the thing is, man, you know, when you just put your mind to something, everything's a mindset. You know, so the goal, the ultimate goal is just to become uh, a, a brand that just inspires individuals to be great. You know, everybody has greatness in them. You know, it's just about that that person or that individual just finding it. So we just at the beginning. So, you know, we, 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 you know, we're passionate about what we do and we love what we do. And we just want to share that passion with, you know, individuals and just be great. You know, every day is an opportunity to be great. Every day is an opportunity to be better. And that's what you want to just, uh, you know, let people know every day. Just go hard. All right. So what advice would you give other trainers that want to get into the personal training field? Um... I would say, uh, first and foremost, don't be afraid to build relationships. Uh, I think that, you know, it's, it's for, for us, training is, uh, that's, the, that's the beauty of it, is that, you know, you get to learn about so many different people. You get to touch, you know, different people's lives, and people touch your life. So it's like, a, you know, it's a win-win it's a situation. You know, you get to, um, you know, share your passion with someone, and then also you get to find out, you know, what motivates someone else to you know come together at this certain time and share that same passion at that moment so i would say any type of advice to give to another trainer is just be ready to build a relationship with your clientele with your tribe with your family your community whatever you call it you know um and that's it man you know work on you know that relationship aspect and you'll see people get results all right so i'm ready to get fit let's see what this workout's about let's get it let's get it Listen, 
Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Catch your breath. Ten seconds. Look, you're here. You got ten. Ten seconds. Look. Look, look, look. Look, pay attention to details. You're here. Look, ten seconds. You're here. Hot squat. Hands here. Out. Out. And breathe. Good job. 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 Good. Great. I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm feeling great. I'm gonna do a push up contest. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. What you want? How many you want? No, I said sound all of them. Whoever, whoever stuck. All right, let's go. But it's on you to uh, down up, down up. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Team Mayo, right here, We're going in. We about to win. Got an announcement? Go ahead and announce yourself. Huh? What, my name? Yeah, just say anything. This is just a competition. Team Josh or something? Oh. Uh, push up contest. Team Josh all day. We gonna get the dub. We just got good here, y'all. Don't, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> y'all talk too much. Y'all talk too much. <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah. Just start talking. Don't pay attention to that. Yeah. Are y'all ready? Push up position, push up position. On my command. Down up. All right, ready? Everybody up, everybody up. Butt down, butt down, butt down, butt down. You ready? Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Count. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Up. Nine. Down. Up. Ten. Down. Up, down, 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 up, come on, come on, come on, who gonna, who gonna tap out, down, up, hold it, no, you cheated, you tapped out, your butt went up, man, I ain't, I ain't getting rules like that, man, man. You gotta stay inspired. Oh, he said that two minutes ago. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We started. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's on us two now. He out. All right, so let's go. Push up position. Right, let's, let's go. Let's go. Hold on, man. I'm back in here. Y'all got up and took a break, man. Hey, bro, you can't bro. disqualify me. You, you out? Nah, man. Bro, you went out. Y'all took a break. Exactly. He just got up and took a break. We all like We had to. Cause you got out. You got to buy time. Nah, man. I promise you I'm not. Let's go. Man, hell no. Man, you won! No, oh, he got him too, then you won it. Let's go, push up position. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, this is the round round right here. Uh, Serious. Look at all that other. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh. Oh. Damn. 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 I said damn. Oh shit. Oh. Six. Damn. <laughs> hold it. Hold it. Don't touch. Oh. Six. Damn. Ah! Oh. I got it. I got it. Damn, I got it. I was. Team Mayo, bring it. Good job, fellas. Good job, fellas. <laughs> All right, so we just got a bomb ass workout in with my boy John from Project Superhero Fit. Definitely feeling good, feeling big, feeling great. Um, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. How y'all feel? Feel great? Good, good, good. But check us out. Um, they're going to drop the uh, username and the Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook in the comments. Uh, it's at Got Lust for Life. So give us a follow and check us out. Appreciate the hard work out, man. Uh, tune in next time. No doubt. It's my comfort zone. Get out your comfort zone, man. I'm dead. <laughs>